you've got a promotion and a hike of 20%. Wow, isn't that such a good news? Well, aren't there so many good newses which we get to face day in, day out? And there are so many different ways in which you could respond to them. Well, because there are so many good newses, so definitely there have to be multiple ways in which we can express our feelings, uh, you know, towards a good news and not just that, but also in express our feelings towards a good news in different situations, be it formal or be it informal. So you all are once again most welcome to Tutorials Point. Here in this video, let us go ahead and discuss great ways to respond to a good news. Okay, so first, let's look at a few professional responses. Okay, now, how is it? I mean, whenever you are in a professional environment, definitely whatever you speak has to be very, very polished. Your, the way in which you express your emotions cannot be way too high or way too low. So you got to be very, very sort of cool, calm, composed, when you are expressing your feelings. So here, let's say you got a good news and now you have to respond to it, but in a professional manner. How do you go ahead? Well, here's the first one. That's great. That is amazing. That's that's a great news to hear. Okay. Well done. Well done, my friends. You've got a, you've done a good job. Okay. I am so glad to hear that. I'm so glad to hear that. Or for that matter, I'm really glad to hear that. So again, a polished, uh, sort of well chiseled way of uh, responding to a good news in a formal environment. Okay, wonderful. Thank you for sharing. So again, a very formal way of responding. You also could use these sort of phrases if you are responding to an email, right? So there also these phrases could be of good use to you. Okay. I am or we are very happy for you. So again, a very formal polished way calm composed way of presenting your happiness towards the good news okay congratulations as simple as that nothing no uh, sugar coating done on it it's direct congratulations that's a very good news or for that matter awesome so awesome can of course you can use it in a formal environment but it is more of an informal thing nevertheless of course you know, it's not that if you use it in a formal environment, it can just cannot be used, not really. But yeah, uh, definitely slightly informal inclination. Okay, so all these are options for you to use whenever you want to respond to a good news in a formal environment. Well, how about informal situations and how do you respond to a good news there? Okay, wow, that's awesome. So again, here you have the freedom and the slack to express your emotions, your feelings, your expressions the way you want to because it's informal, right? Okay, fantastic, great, awesome. So again, something, these words which express overwhelming emotions. Okay, that's amazing. That's such a good news to hear. That was, that was great to hear, right? Okay, I'm thrilled to hear this. Again, all these words which are used here sort of represent peak emotions. They are not very calm and sort of composed sort of emotions. They are peak emotions and obviously you are allowed to use us because it is informal. Okay, I'm so happy for you. So again, a sort of, it's not that you cannot use this phrase in informal situation, in a formal situation, but depends on how you are expressing it right i'm so happy for you okay congratulations well as i told you congratulations is you can use it anywhere formal informal both the ways it works that's a great news so again full of expressions full of excitement and so much joy okay i can't believe it that's great i can't believe it it's great so again a uh, um you know, way of presenting your sort of, uh, you know, responding to a good news in an informal environment. Really? Are you serious? So again, a very, very informal way of responding to a good news. So here also you're sort of aghast. You are overwhelmed. You are surprised. You're, you're just taken by a surprise. You're amazed, right? So that is the way in which you are responding to a good news. So 
all these phrases represent peak emotions and definitely um, as far as an informal environment is concerned you can go ahead and use them and um, that is not an issue well here so of course now you have so many options to respond to your good news formal or informal it is completely your choice how you want to take it forward well i'm sure this video is going to help you a lot if you actually apply it in your real language well i'll see you again in the next video till that time keep learning with tutorials point and tutorics have a good day